When you tie up your tomato, see, originally I tied this stem up t to the stake, but you can tell that this is a more dominant stem. It's a lot bigger. So I'm untying this. Now if you tie them real tight, you can't get the second knot out. But see, I'm not trying to strangle that plant. See, I'm leaving space there. And I'm going to untie this and rotate this over because this is going to be the main stem and I want it in the center of that pole. Now I've tied this one to the pole. Now I can't stretch this over all the way for two reasons. I got a flower down here that's going to produce tomatoes. And so, and I don't want to bend this stem yet. Once it gets taller, I can bend it up here when it gets taller real easy and attach it back to the post. And now this one is going to continue to grow. And as it grows, I'm going to bring it over to the stake. I'm trying to keep it all tied to the stake by the main central stems. And this tomato plant here, both of them are relatively close together. So I could bring them both in. I tied a longer one put a hard knot there put a hard knot there but see all the space I leave because these stems get a lot bigger then I go get that big but that's what it ended up when I pulled this up I don't want to break it you really have to watch doing this in this stage if you hit this these things you'll knock these flowers off in a heartbeat and if you hit that really hard with your finger you'll knock it off with a heartbeat and if you just dragged one of these past that it would break it right off and you don't want that. Now some people want to have just a central leader and grow their tomatoes. And I don't want to get into an argument with anybody. But I am I don't sucker them. Because if I had suckered this one off and just kept this one. See these tomatoes? See down inside there more tomatoes? You'd lose all those. The plant can sustain all those tomatoes because it's in good soil. Well, it's Friday the 14th of June, and I do have some tomatoes. Now, if I was to sucker this plant and cut this off, I would lose all, the, all of these that it produces. And in a week or two, it's going to have all the same amount on it that this has. And see, so you have another cluster there, another cluster there. I don't know why you want to cut off suckers that are going to produce tomatoes and these are a different story because I've got plenty of growth here I don't need those fingernail works best I'm not paying attention where the camera is but I don't mind if that one grows I've got enough energy in this soil to support this plant I want this plant to get taller than the stake and lean over the others see right there I've got to pull this one up and eventually pull that one up Well, we, I slowly pulled that one back up and uh, drove it in the ground with a few wax. And it's none the worse for wear. These are all uh, tied up on the stakes and not hanging over. It'll allow me to walk through these rows when they really get big. When they get taller than the stake and big around that you can't hug around them. I know you're used to growing tomatoes that are two or three feet tall and getting five or six tomatoes in a year. I don't do that. I let them grow really big. They're big plants. They got healthy soil. And I get 35 or 40 tomatoes off a plant. Now you can keep getting three or four and be happy. And if you're happy, I'm happy. But for the same effort and good soil, you wouldn't need to plant as many. I give so many of these away. That's why I plant them. Because I'm the tomato man. And if I don't give them away, they'll quit calling me the tomato man. Sometimes when you sign up tomatoes, this is a stem you'd want to tie up to the stake. But I've got that cluster of tomatoes, and if I tie this up close to the stake, I can do, hold the camera left-handed. And the nice thing about these ties, you can just pull them away and slide them around the pole. But if I tie that one up to that stake, where are all those tomatoes going to go when they get big? They'll be all jammed apart. And if I leave them in the middle, they got somewhere to grow. Once this stem gets bigger and taller, I will bring it back up here. And they will be able to grow.